Today on Flipped Classroom Tutorials I'm going to show you how you can create a Chrome OS-like experience on any aging laptop. Join me for another Flipped Classroom Tutorials. Okay, in order to transform your old laptop into a Chromebook-like device we are going to use the power of Cub Linux, C-U-B Linux. So go ahead and go to the website Cub Linux and we are going to look for the download button. Cup Linux is a very powerful distribution version of Linux. It is based on Ubuntu and it is going to create a Chromebook-like experience with added functionality of Linux. Make sure that you download the correct image file because we are going to use this in order to install or try out Cup Linux. Another piece of software we are going to need is the Live USB Creator. So go ahead and surf to their website as well and download the file. Once both the Linux Live USB Creator program and your Cup Linux image file have been downloaded, go ahead and open Linux Live USB Creator. We are going to select our USB disk, which in my case is the H drive. Then we are going to select our image file which is the AMD64 ISO and as you can see the little traffic lights are telling me that everything is good to go. I am also going to create a live mode which is going to enable me to simply plug in my USB stick into any computer and I can still save files. Okay, as you can see, this Linux is not in a compatibility list. That is absolutely no problem because we are going to select regular Linux setup. And lastly, you are going to click on Create, which is a lightning bolt. This process might take a couple of minutes. Once everything has been completed, go ahead and boot your computer using the live USB key. Once Cup Linux has been booted, you can select to either try or install Cup. Now for the sake of this demo, we are going to select try. So go ahead and click on try Cup. This now loads our Linux kernel. And when all is finished, we are presented with a beautiful Chrome OS-like experience. This is not only a fast and reliable Chrome OS experience, it is also a fully packed Linux version, which means that you can install any app you desire, such as GIMP or even Audacity and other open source software available on Linux. I hope this was helpful. Do try it out and please leave any comments in the comment section below. If you have any questions, leave them below. And if you like this video or other videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel or give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.